So to the reproduce, some you say, oh, hairstyle is going to be very important to do a really good section. So I'm going to be going all around this section and divide all the hair so I can divide the interior part of it to the perimeter side. I think this style is a little more radical, but I think it's going to be very popular this year. I think we've been doing a lot of mullets last year, and I think it's going to be moving into a little bit more definition in between the sides and the top. The J. Joe haircut, it was a little bit shorter here on the sides. It didn't win as much on the back. I think this is a little more aggressive, but I think a lot of these Korean styles are going to be super, super popular this year. To cut the length on the sides, I'm going to recommend that you use your clippers with a guard number three. This is going to allow you to get enough fullness on the hair so you can actually see the difference in between the long and the short, but still have enough hair on the sides. This video is sponsored by Coco Professional Tools, the tool line that I've been using for the last two years. Check them up on the description. After I'm done cutting the sides, I'm going to be cutting the top part of the haircut. So I'm going to divide the hair from the front to the back, so I can cut first the back and then the front. Using condensed cutting with the twin combs, I'm going to be cutting the back area. So I'm going to be actually using my two combs, compress the hair, get the angle that I want it, and then with the shears go directional down and cut the length that I want it. As you can see, it goes short to long, so it's going to be short to long. Shortest point of the haircut is going to be about right here. Once that is done, you can actually cut the desired length of the perimeter. You can use the point cutting or the razor cut, whatever you want. That is my shortest piece of cut. As you can see, I'm pointing to it. This is going to be the shortest going down and going forward. So I'm using that as a guide. I'm going to be connected to the front. I use the two comb technique, same way as what I was doing before, and I'm going to create the angle that I needed to cut short to long, short to long. This is a very effective way to cut any moha styles. It's just going to give you exactly the length that you want it on the line that you want. Now I'm dividing the head on the middle and combing both sides, so I can actually cut the angle that I want it on the sides. Make sure you keep the length that you want it on the front and point cut it directional and diagonal back. Repeat the same technique on the other side. After you cut the diagonal, continue the angle going down to connect with the perimeter. To give it a little more portage look on the sideburns and the nape area, I'm going to be doing a little more of the fade. So you can use the number one on your clippers and then a little bit of your half on it and then just keep it open and close it so you can actually get a little bit that short to long effect on the sideburns and on the nape area. If you're interested in getting yourself some really good brushes, I'm going to leave a link on the description so you can go to the Coco site and get yourself some really amazing brushes, round brushes and flat brushes. Use the code HAIRBRANDE20 and get 20% discount on them. Use the blow dryer with a flat brush to create the direction of the hair that you want it. And use the brush as well to lift the hair up so you can get a little bit of the pampador section on the front part of it. This style can be finished in two different ways, as a pampador and as a tube block. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you want to see shorter versions of these videos. You can see me using the ram brass as well, so I can give it a little bit more direction to the pampador so I can get that really perfect shape on it. To style the hair, I'm going to be using wax. That's going to give me the control and the direction that I need on the style. To style the hair, I'm going to be using wax from 1821 to give me the direction and control that I needed. It has that flexible hole to give me the direction that I need on the style. If you put this much work on styling your hair, I would recommend that you use some hairspray at the end to make sure it lasts for a long time. And here you have the 360 view of this pampador, but don't go yet. I'm going to make the style going forward right now on a two block style with the same haircut. If you want to get yourself a Korean hairstyle, it's very popular right now to get your sideburns into a point. So you need to use some trimmers that have a really sharp edge like this one to actually get the look that you want. To achieve the two block style, I'm going to be brushing the hair with the ram brush forward because the vents have to be going on a direction forward. Now that the hair is blow dry, I'm going to test your and leave it the bangs and give it the length and it's going to be better so people actually can see through their bangs. Use some vertical sections and using your texturizing here with the thicker teeth, you will be able to texturize the hair so you can get that finished look that it looks like a razor cut. 
How much you remove it all depends on your hair. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do it today. I need more people like you on the channel. Using your regular CS, cut the perimeter using point cutting on the front and on the sides. I love the texture of this hairstyle and I think it's going to be super popular this year, so give it a try. This particular haircut is going to look good in any face type. Maybe you have to do the styling that you need for each face type. So if your face is kind of white, you want to go with the pompadour style. And if your face is too long, you want to go with the two block. The idea is to make it a little bit longer for the people who have wider faces and a little bit shorter if your face is too long. If you have any suggestions and any other haircut that you want me to do on the channel in the future, please put it in the commentary area. I'd like to know about it.